Today I'm back on the local range and I have something a little bit different for you guys. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, talk about different. Now I'm going to need you guys' help to tell me about this. So what I think this is, is I think this is a Hungarian AMD 65 produced by FEG. It has this like 12 and a half inch barrel but it has this, this long muzzle brake on it. And it's, yes, it's permanently welded to the front sight block so it makes it legal. It's not an SBR. Uh, it has this weird side folder on it. You press the button, which is pretty, it's really tight. Whew. Not the easiest side folder ever. So there it is folds off to the side for a nice compact package. You can shoot it this way. It's just a very unusual little rifle. Oh, now see, this side folder, I suppose after it's exercised a little bit, it'll come out of it. Now I know there's some really weird stories behind these guns, like they imported these, these receivers from from Hungary, and then FEG went bankrupt, but continued to produce these firearms. But they were originally meant to be SBRs for somebody, and then when they got imported here, FEG built them up, and then uh, welded this muzzle brake on there. And it's weird because the serialized portion is not the receiver, it's the front trunnion. And then everything else is matching serial numbers, the carrier, the bolt all has matching serial numbers. This one has been rattle canned by someone who shall remain nameless. <laughs> and it has a Tapco G2 trigger in it. So down in the comment section below, I want you to tell me everything you guys know about this weird rifle. But in the meantime, I'm gonna load it up and have some fun. All right, we got all set up here. We got two three-quarter shoot steel silhouette targets set up at about 50 yards. This is going to be the second time I've shot this. The first time was at like seven yards, so I'm not too optimistic if I'm gonna be able to hit those at 50. I got some brass case Igman 7.62 by 39 mil loaded up. Now, these mags are with this, yeah, it's, these mags are, Kind of tough to get in there. All right, let's see what we can do. For how short this barrel is with a pinned and welded muzzle brake, it shoots extremely soft. That Tapco G2 trigger, like I said, is always a really good upgrade. Just a fun little gun to shoot. If I can do my part, you know. The one thing I don't like about this wire stock is there's no cheek weld. So you're kind of just hovering above the, uh, the wire folder.
I don't know much about the Hungarian guns, but this one, I mean, eh, it's kind of like the Wasser. I was going to say the action is actually, it feels really smooth, but it does stick, you know, where they tend to stick if they're not high-end guns. All right. Let's load up another mag. I noticed this really weird gas tube that's not protected by a handguard. It just has a lower handguard on it. You kind of want to be careful. It tends to get a little warm. Let's run one more mag and then I'll let you guys get back to your day. We're just running regular steel mags today. No Tapco. But, I mean, for how short this barrel is with that pinned and welded muzzle brake on there. At 50 yards, it's really, really accurate and really controllable. It does tend to get a little warm, but this thing is really, really nice. I couldn't imagine shooting it folded, but I imagine if you're an assault team or you're in a tank or you're in a Humvee, it would be really handy to be able to fold this. It'd be even handier if you could unfold it without having to press the button and try to struggle with that wire stock. All in all, very nice. I'll tell you what, for somebody that has a little bit of this, this thing shoots really, really well. And it's just such a weird little rifle imported from Hungary and uh, assembled by FEG. Now, if you have any comments, you have any input on the history of this, the bankruptcy of FEG, please leave it in the comments section down below. Now, if you want some Freed on Death merch and you want to help support the channel, the link will be in the pinned comment and in the description box below. Remember, that's storefrontier.com forward slash pre-dawn death. All right, I'll let you guys get back to your day. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.